I'm Brent Larson, and this is... I'm Natalie Gummers. And we're going to teach you about 3D printing today. So, uh, to start off with the basics, uh, this is a 3D printer. Uh, there's two different styles of 3D printer. Uh, there's resin, and then there's uh, it's FDM printers, which takes... Uh, basically, it's a uh, plastic strand like so. It goes through into what is a an extruder which pushes it down into a tube that goes all the way down into basically think of it as a complicated hot glue gun goes down into here heats it up to a certain temperature that you can set on here and then with a process called slicing what it'll do is it will print out a piece of your choosing uh, and so Basically, going into that, it is uh, to get your finished product, you actually start off with what's called a 3D model. You can take any 3D model, and then you, what you need to do is go into slicing. Uh, the slicer that I use is called Cura. Uh, what, what that is, is that it actually takes the 3D model and slices it, actual model, into sections, into what we call layers and it'll cut it up into layers so that way the printer can actually recognize it and print out the layers so what we're printing right now is called an egg tosser for the telos and if you want to go more into that uh, so the telo drum has two three different variants this is a simple one the other one is a red one and it has little Lego bricks on top, so you can plug it into becoming the RoboMaster. But for what he's printing out today, he's gonna print an egg hold holder, and whenever you fly the Tilo, for wherever we're gonna be, it will be able to throw the egg, confetti egg, at whomever, whomever they want to. Do you wanna show them more on how it connects? So, it's, no remote, you connect to your phone. You can see down here on the inside, it'll have the name of it so you know what you're connecting to. And you can program it or you can fly it manually. So you can program it to do flips and to fly around, do turns, or you can just do it from your phone. Mm -hmm. And uh, more into like what she was saying with the latest, can I see that real quick? Uh, with the, uh, this one, uh, the actual, yeah, you want to hold that for me? The actual way that this connects is just by snapping onto there, onto a series like this. It actually just snaps on with the clips that actually the, it's just a, you pop it off and then it actually, the plastic's actually strong enough to where it actually can snap into place without actually breaking the plastic. And so, like I said, you have to print it a certain way so that way it's actually strong enough to hold that snap style clipping there. And so, um, with that, that's basically everything with the egg clipper that we're going to be doing with. Um, this one, it, uh, for the printing, it actually does take a while. This one right here uh, for this particular uh, print is actually going to take probably around uh, two and a half to three hours to print. Uh, with that, uh, you can't just print it just like so. What you actually have to do is find a certain way that the, because when you print it out, and it prints it out, there's actually, it can't just print something mid-air, it actually needs what's called supports on it. And that's what you can see, there's a lot more going on here than here, because it actually, you go while you're actually in the slicer itself, Kira, you actually need to have what's called supports for it. So that way it actually can print the, the egg out properly without the, the any drooping or falling down of any sorts because it can't just print mid-air like I said it needs something to support it the print to dry for that uh, or to to cool down in that process so
Alrighty, and that is all.